Today I'm drawing one of my favorite F1 cars. That's Fernando Alonso's 2006 Renault Formula One race car, the R26, and I'll be sharing the process with you guys. I'm using these two reference pictures. I'm using uh, color pencils on Fabriano watercolor paper. A full list of the materials is going to be in the description, so you can have a look there. Because of the size and how detailed this drawing is going to be, I'm using a projector to do my outlines. Um, I'm making a carbon copy that I will transfer onto the, the paper later. My reference isn't the best. Uh, I will still need to redraw a lot of the car freehand once the carbon copy's down. There are many different ways to get your outlines done. I'm using this method here because it's the quickest and I want to get to putting the color down as soon as I can. Um, and although this is quicker, this whole process took about two hours from start to finish. So I've been drawing probably 15 to 20 years now, and starting is always the hardest part. Uh, there's so much doubt, like, am I going to screw this up? I already put so much time in, I don't want to have to restart. I'm not sure how it's gonna look in the end. What am I doing? All those kind of thoughts. But I trust the process and the journey and kind of just have to get on with it. Sort of like ripping off a Band-Aid really quick. Just do it and hope for the best. you look closely, there's a lot of subtle little details on this car that um, will make the final piece more believable. Like this little reflection here, it's super fun to do. I'm doing a lot of the lighter colors first. Um, I find this keeps the color nice and clean, and then I can cut them back later with the darker colors. Unlike what a lot of online tutorials seem to say, um, I tend to work from dark to light. Uh, prismas are unique in that way and kind of cool, uh, and I find that I get a better blend that way. Once I'm happy with the overall value, I'll go in and burnish um, the final area with a color pencil to even the blend out. I rarely, if ever, use a colorless blender. This part was really tricky. I was very scared I'd screw the whole thing up right here. Uh, these logos are so tough and they're so in your face that you kind of have to get them right. Uh, luckily, I think they came out all right, although there's still some room for improvement, I think. Well, and here's what I have so far. It's just over six days and 10 plus hours in. Uh, I hope to finish this piece for the next video. If you made it this far in the video, thank you. Um, I would love to hear what you thought and what you would like to see in the future from me. Oh, and if you haven't already, subscribe, it really helps out.